it's Miss Katie, and welcome back! We are on class 123 for our virtual UPK, and I am so proud of all the hard work that you do at home. But you know we don't like working hard at home? That's right, germs. So, if you need to pause the video now and wash your hands, you may do so. All clean? Perfect. All right, friends. It has been a little while since we have been practicing our writing. So, if you will grab some paper, your crayons, and your grown-up, let's practice our first and last name today. You can pause the video now. Wonderful work, friends. All right, let's head on over to our calendar. And if you'll remember the last time we were together, I told you that when we came back from our break, we would have a brand new month. So we don't have the month of February anymore, and it's not the month of March. We are in the month of April. Can you say April nice and loud? April. Well done, friends. All right, let's sing our Days of the Week song and find out what today is. Ready? Days of the Week. 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 Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week. Wonderful job, friends. If yesterday was Sunday, what does that make today? Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. And if yesterday was the number four, what does that make today? Let's start at one and count together. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five. Wonderful job, friends. Today is the number five. April 5th. Let's put that right up here. All right, let's say our date together. Ready? Monday, April 5th, 2021. Great job, friends. Let's say our year nice and loud together. Ready? 2021. Well done. Friends, when you're watching this video, is it the same day or is it a different day? That's right. For some of you, it may be Thursday. All right, friends. Well, if you need to finish the calendar with your grown-up, you may pause the video and do so now. If you're ready to go on, we'll look outside. We'll be a meteorologist. Do you remember what that big word means, meteorologist? It's someone who studies the weather. You're right. And today at UPK, I can see that there is a little bit of rain in the air. Not a lot, but a little bit of water coming down from the sky. And it's not frozen this time. <laughs> All right, we'll put that right under Monday. And friends, is the weather the same or different at your house? Thank you for sharing. All right, if you need to finish the weather, you can pause the video and do so now with your grown-up. If you're ready to go on, we'll go to the question of the day. And my question for you today, friends, is what does make-believe mean? 
When someone says to you, this is make-believe, what does that mean? <coughs> oh, excuse me, friends. I just got a little tickle in my throat. What does that mean, friends? Yeah. It means that it is pretend or not real. Or sometimes we use the word fantasy. It's all just pretend and it's not really going to happen in our world because it's so silly or so made up. And it's fun sometimes to read stories that are make-believe. And we're going to read a few of those stories this week and we're going to read some stories that are not make-believe. So we will get to that, but before we get started, our story today it's a little bit about spaghetti and meatballs, so I thought it might be fun to read, or to sing, <laughs> on top of spaghetti in our morning meeting today. All right? So you might know this one, and if you don't, we'll learn it together. All right. Ready, friends? Here we go. On top of spaghetti. All covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Achoo! <laughs> it rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled right out the door. Friends, can a meatball roll out the door? I don't know. Not by itself, I don't think. <laughs> it rolled in a garden and under a bush. Now my poor meatball is nothing but mush. The mush was as tasty as tasty could be. And early next summer, to read and to think about. 
So for our first activity, let's grab our paper that looks like this and our crayons. And right here, you're going to write your name. And then it says, predicts that it will be cloudy with a chance of what would you like to see come down from the sky? A kind of food? Maybe you'd like to see it uh, rain cats and dogs. That's another silly saying that people say. But you can be a meteorologist with your grown-up and predict what silly weather will happen next. If you look at these lines, friends, I know that the lines look a little bit small. So if you write a little bit bigger than these lines, that's okay. You don't have to try to squeeze it in there. I know that they're kind of smaller than we're used to. Okay, friends? So no worries about the lines. Just have some fun being a make-believe meteorologist. You can pause the video now. Friends, I cannot wait to see all your weather predictions, so make sure you share it with us on Facebook, or you can always bring it back to a Learn As You Grow building. Our next activity, friends, is a little activity with spaghetti and meatballs. Now, you can do this activity a few ways. You could just cut these apart, and you could play a matching game. Or, if you wanted to have some fun with sensory, you could take some paper, you could rip it up, or shred it, you could grab some tongs, and after you cut a apart your cards, you could hide them inside your pretend spaghetti and use your tongs to look for your spaghetti and meatballs to do and practice your letter matching. So, you can have fun with your spaghetti and meatball match any way that you'd like. Maybe you would like to hide the spaghetti and then your grown-up can match the meatball. Or maybe you could take turns. But however you practice, make sure that we're practicing our capital letters and our lowercase letters so that we know which ones go together. All right, friends? So if you want to cut all of your cards apart and play your matching game however you would like, you may do so now with your grown-up. All right, friends, I hope that you had fun playing your game, and I hope that if you used any of this, or you might have um, the grass, uh, plastic Easter grass that uh, sometimes people get at this time of year to hide your spaghetti and meatball match in, I hope you had fun with it. And I hope you keep practicing at home. These are good cards to keep and to keep working on practicing your capital letters and their lowercase match. Okay, friends? So, keep working hard at home. I'll see you again soon. Bye.